everybody. I'm Jim Nance in New York. We welcome you back to the NFL Today. And for those of you expecting to see 60 Minutes, an expanded edition of that program will come your way shortly. Tonight, he's all of 13 years old, and he's on trial for murder. He's also on 60 Minutes. And with one quarter of the doctors in the U.S. now trained in foreign countries, it's more likely that before the doctor can ask, where does it hurt, the patient will ask, where are you from? And then stay tuned for the world premiere CBS miniseries, Shake, Rattle, and Roll. That's coming up tonight here on CBS. Let me introduce my crew here. Craig James and Randy Shake, Crawl. rattle, and roll. Shake, Shake rattle, and roll. I thought it was the other way around. <laughs> all right, okay, all right. I thought you were roll. Okay. All right, let's go through the scores here, fellas, and uh, start you out, of course, with that Denver win. The Broncos uh, get it back over 100 yards. San Diego has gone 26 straight games without allowing a 100-yard rusher, but Olantis Gary looked good today. And how about uh, Chris Miller, your old quarterback there, Coach? Well, I don't think it really was the quarterback. I think San Diego defense today had problems. The three leading tacklers on San Diego's team all played the second. Secondary, and that's why Orlando's got over 100 yards. Okay, and by the way, Randy, your old 49ers look perfectly ordinary. In fact, maybe even worse than that because Pittsburgh's pounding them today in bad weather at San Francisco. Jeff Garcia started, threw for only 39 yards in three quarters, was pulled by Steve Stenstrom, uh, replaced by Steve Stenstrom, and Steelers are on their way to a win. Seahawks with uh, Ricky Waters, over 130 yards rushing. Kitna throwing for three touchdowns in that one. Tampa Bay, and what a day for Trent Dilfer. He throws for three touchdowns. And Ricky Williams, after that huge game last week, only 41 yards rushing today. The Bears in this emotion-filled week. The memories of Walter Payton, and they win today at Green Bay. Sweetness, thank you for touching us all. The McCaskies, the owners, the commissioner, Paul Tagliabue at Lambeau Field. This would come down to the game's final play. Bears took the lead on this pass play. Miller to Ingram. Still Ryan Longwell, always reliable. Had a 28-yard chip shot, final play of the game to win it. And it was blocked by Brian Robinson. And the Bears pull it off. I think Walter Payton actually picked me up a little bit and, and, and boosted me up in the air because, you know, I, I can't jump that high, you know. I don't know what happened. Maybe, uh, you know, I had a running start and he boosted me up and I got my hand up there, but, you know, it's great. It's great. It's great for us. It's great for the city of Chicago and, and, and it's for you, Walter. It's for you, buddy. And that breaks the Bears' streak of 10 straight losses to Green Bay. Meanwhile, in a game that had eight lead changes, the Rams lost for the second straight time. Detroit with some plays down the stretch you wouldn't believe. Oh, and this was a thriller game. We said whoever had the ball at the end of the ball game would have a chance to win this thing. And then, you know, Charlie Batch is out of the ball game. Charlie Batch has to, you know, have Gus Farratt come into play for him. Gus Farratt and that Detroit defense hung in there when they had to hang in there and made some plays. This was a big ball game. Detroit truly is a contender now. I think people realize that. And that game could come up huge when it comes time to settling the play off home field. They're 6-2, and two, and they lead the Central. So for Jerry Glanville, Randy Cross, and of course, Craig James. I'm Jim Nance. We'll see you next Sunday on the NFL Today, 12 noon Eastern time. Thanks for being with us. 60 Minutes coming up next.